I win, I get to add one superstar to my team, which is important because the Tennessee Titans don't have a single NFL superstar. Yeah, no, this team is pretty bad. After every win, I'll spin this wheel of superstars, and whoever it lands on will be the player I get to add. But to spin that wheel, we're first going to need to win some games. Okay, we're taking on the 82 overall New Orleans Saints in week number one, which would be Will Levis' first NFL start. He would march into New Orleans, and with the help of his defense, would win an easy 17-0 game. Okay, well, that was easy for the first game of the season. And with our leading receiver being our tight end with 39 yards, I was hoping our first player could be a wide receiver. Okay, who's going to be our first NFL superstar we get to add? Don't tell me it's going to be Jamar Chase off rip. That is beautiful. You know, Jamar Chase is a pretty solid receiver himself. And now he gets to be on our team. And with heading into week number two. Okay, I think Jamar Chase came at the perfect time because we're somehow gonna have to outscore the Los Angeles Chargers. And despite Tony Pollard coming off a masterclass performance in week number one, that would unfortunately not carry over for the Tennessee Titans in week number two, as we would fall to Justin Herbert and the Los Angeles Chargers. All right, well, we're gonna lose week number two. I'm honestly not shocked at all. It's good to see that Jamar Chase is actually contributing in his very first game though. That makes me a little happy, but we'd have a chance to get back in the win column in week number three okay well the cleveland browns are winless at 0 2 in a qb battle between deshaun watson and will levis it would actually be a high scoring game but unfortunately it just wouldn't be us scoring that many points it would just be the cleveland browns well i guess we score some points but not as much as the cleveland browns obviously dude and will levis is actually playing good too same for jamar chase 131 and a touchdown but yet again we fail to add another nfl superstar okay we're gonna face off against the jamar less cincinnati Bengals. Bengals. They also have a superstar quarterback. And with Jamar Chase coming off an amazing week, he'd be facing off against his former team, the Cincinnati Bengals. And it was evident that the Cincinnati Bengals would miss having Jamar Chase on their team, as the Tennessee Titans would finally get back in the win column. We narrowly escape the Cincinnati Bengals 35 to 31. My God, that was sweaty. With the defense giving up 31 points, I was just hoping that we'd get a defensive player from this wheel. Oh my God, please stay on TJ Watt. Please stay on TJ Watt. Please stay on TJ Watt. And just like that, we'd be back in the AFC North. I don't know what it is, but our first two players come from the AFC North division, which I'm not mad about at all. We get to add one of the best defensive players in the league. And adding a defensive player was massive because heading into this next week, we'd be facing off against the 3-1 and one Indianapolis Colts. Okay, well, it looks like the Colts have a pretty solid offense. We do have Jonathan Taylor. And although the Colts would have a rookie quarterback, we'd also have one. There would just be zero offense played today. As Will Levis was just unable to replicate his past success. All right, well, we're going to lose 13-10. to 10. That's actually sad because our defense played great and this next week wouldn't get any easier okay the four and one baltimore ravens come to town my god lamar jackson scares me but will levis was excited to bounce back from last week's disaster class of a game and he would do just that as he would drop 28 points having an amazing game but the baltimore ravens would also score 28 points ending the game in a tie dude we just ended in a tie i i have never had this happen before i mean i i guess we didn't win so i can't spin the wheel and although we didn't lose we certainly did not win but we'd like to change that this week okay uh, falcons are two and five we're two three and one that is actually disgusting and we'd like to finally get back in the win column and even in nasty weather conditions will levis and the offense would show up and they'd show up massive as they would finally lead us back into the win column okay despite the nasty weather we're gonna get, get back in the win column love to see it but with will levis still showing no signs of improvement we would luckily get to add a quarterback to the squad oh my god is it gonna be cd lamb or josh Allen. Oh my God, it's going to give me Josh Allen. Beautiful. You know what, Will Levis? You did your thing for the for the Titans, but I think I'd much rather have Josh Allen on the squad. With adding Josh Allen, we'd look to be above 500 once again this season. Okay, there's no way the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to keep up with us this week. They don't even have TJ Watt anymore. And in Josh Allen's first game as a Tennessee Titan, Josh Allen wouldn't disappoint us. He would drop 26 points in his very first game as a Tennessee Titan. We're finally above 500 in a 26-21 dub. Sorry about that, Mike Tomlin. And once more, we get to add another superstar to the squad. Okay, what player are we going to add next? We don't need Lamar Jackson, but I will take JJ Justin Jefferson. You know what? We're going to go from adding Josh Allen to adding Justin Jefferson. That, that's not too shabby. We get to add another superstar wide receiver to the squad. But that duo would quickly be put to the test this upcoming week. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have an 87 overall defense. And we have an 87 overall offense. And despite having an 87 overall defense, there was just a 
way too much firepower on the Tennessee Titans for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to keep up. Well, this one went as expected pretty much. Another dub. We got Justin Jefferson with four receptions for 108 yards and a touchdown. We have Chris Moore getting seven receptions for 142 yards and a touchdown. That probably shouldn't happen, but and just like that, we get to add another superstar to the squad. Micah Parsons or Travis Kelsey? Okay. I'm not mad about that at all. Probably our only hold on offense now is a tight end. And well, we get to fill that hole, obviously, now. And with their offense now becoming stacked with talent, we were looking to make a push for the playoffs. They're on the road against the four and five Jacksonville Jaguars. And once more, will we get another W, extending the win streak and extending our playoff hopes? Well, that game was easy. Sorry about that, T Law. Okay, can we please get like a defensive player? I, I would love to get a defensive player. Please stop on Aaron Dow. Please, 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 please. Oh my god, okay. You know, AJ Brown's cool, but like, I want a defensive player, dude. Well, actually, I forgot AJ Brown has a bit of lore with the uh, Tennessee Titans, so welcome back home, AJ. Yeah, you know what? He looks pretty natural in that Tennessee Titans uniform. We ended up facing off against the Carolina Panthers the next week, easily securing another dub. My god, Bryce Young didn't have a chance giving us another player to add to the team. Please, a defensive player. Please, 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 a defensive player. Yes, we're guaranteed to get one. Who is it gonna be? Is it gonna be PS2? It is. Well, 98 over Overall, superstar X Factor, Patrick Sertain. You are going to be sent to the Tennessee Titans. And that addition would be massive because we would have another rematch with a division rival. The 8-3 and three Indianapolis Colts. They're actually on top of the division. So this game is massive for us if we want to make the playoffs. And with Tony Pollard being one of our best players, he was going to have to ball out if we wanted to keep up with Anthony Richardson and the Colts. But in case you forgot, we had Josh Allen and Justin Jefferson as well. And although it didn't seem like we did have them in the beginning, you could definitely tell in the second half. I said, pick it up and we'd score 38 points in a blowout dub. This is a massive dub for the good guys. Very beneficial for our playoff run. I mean, Josh Allen had an amazing game. Tony Pollard did his thing. Justin Jefferson cooked. Jamar Chase cooked. Travis Kelsey cooked. Dude, everybody cooked. Now, just dude, let me get another defensive player because our offense is set. We just need a defensive player and we're going to get Tyree Kill, aren't we? Oh my God, dude, we, we don't need Tyree Kill, but I can't complain because we're going to get to be able to add one of the fastest players in the NFL. Dude, what are the odds that we're playing against Tyreek's team or Tyreek's old team right now? And although we just added Tyreek Hill, his star power along with everyone else's star power on the Tennessee Titans offense would just be way too much for the Miami Dolphins to overcome. 29 to 23, we get the dub in overtime. Sorry we had to do you like that, Tua. I mean, Josh Allen had a master class of a game. And although Justin Jefferson did go crazy, Tyreek Hill did get revenge against his former team. Tyreek went crazy against the Dolphins, dude. And this would give us another player. Thankfully, this time, a defensive player. Fred Warner? Okay. Finally, we get a defensive player again, dude. Well, one of, if not the best middle linebacker in all of football, he will be coming to Tennessee. And after adding Fred Warner, we win our final four games this season. And after adding players like Aaron Donald, Miles Garrett, Christian McCaffrey, and Micah Parsons, our team would now be looking like this, finishing with a record of 13-3-1. Dude, this team is absolutely absurd. Our defense might be more comp than our offense, I can't lie. The front seven is nasty with Miles Garrett, Aaron Aaron Donald, Micah Parsons. Our secondary is a little sus. I mean, we have Patrick Sertain, but we don't have any safeties, but we do have two stud linebackers, which we need a good defense against the Miami Dolphins. Okay, well, good thing the Miami Dolphins don't have Tyree Kill. And yet it was obvious that they were missing a Tyree Kill in this playoff game because they simply could not keep up with the Tennessee Titans offense. Okay, the score looks a lot closer, but the Dolphins did kind of stab pad at the end. But nonetheless, we'll be moving on to the divisional round. Okay, we head to another team where we stole a player from, Jamar Chase. Chase's Cincinnati Bengals. Now that the Bengals did have Joe Burrow at the end of the day, losing Jamar Chase would be massive for him. Zeke just could not keep up with us just like the Miami Dolphins couldn't. My God, the Bengals had no shot in winning that game. A 0% chance. And after winning that game, we'd of course have to run into Patrick Mahomes. Of course, yep, the light at the end of the tunnel just so happens to be a 99 overall Patrick Mahomes. But from the last two playoff games, we were able to add players like Sauce Gardner. And we're gonna get Trent Williams. And with adding even more more firepower to the squad. No matter how good Patrick Mahomes is, there was no shot he was gonna keep up with us. 45 to seven is crazy. 
I have never seen Patrick Mahomes get beat that bad in a sim before. Josh Allen had five touchdowns. McCaffrey had one. I forgot Kelsey. He had a revenge game with two touchdowns. Jettis had two touchdowns. Ajay Spears, of all people, had a touchdown. After adding our final player. All right, well, CD Lamb. This would be the squad heading into the Super Bowl. Oh my God, that is a lot of superstars on one team, man. Almost every NFL superstar you can think of. And just like that, the Tennessee Titans were one win away from being Super Bowl champions. Despite us taking so many players away from the 49ers, they somehow end up in the Super Bowl. And just like that, the Tennessee Titans somehow find themselves in the Super Bowl. As they once started the NFL season with not much talent, and they are now filled with talent. And all they needed was one win to be Super Bowl champions. 7 nothing, just like that. Love to see it. Okay, 9 nothing. We must have got a safety because, my God, 16 nothing, 23 nothing, Dude, this is this is insane. Oh, my God, dude. They're not even going to score a touchdown. 30 nothing, 37 nothing. Just like that, we're Super Bowl champions. Super Bowl champions, man. That was so anticlimactic because it was an actual blowout. But we got the job done with the Tennessee Titans. Get to hoist that Lombardi trophy this season. Our job is complete. And thankfully, we did win a Super Bowl. We're completing the challenge where if every game I win, I get to add one superstar from around the league. And if you want to see me do this challenge, but for every win, I get to add one free agent from this past free agency, just click right here. They had some insane free agents from this past season. So check it out. We built a pretty stacked team.